Well, hello everyone, it's Gordon Howie here, and in this video, I will be exposing the Barbie movie. Now let's get started. The overrated movie infamously known as Barbie is a feminist Gnostic movie that was also overhyped. Feminism is an evil concept that promotes the murderous evil called abortion and denies the biblical roles of the family and the church. Gnosticism is an occultic teaching that has brought many people into a massive deception. This folk movie also promotes the LGBT agenda and Romans 1 proves that homosexuality is an abomination. Romans 1, 24-27 says, Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the, the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, who attains the truth of God into a lie, and worships and serves the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. Homosexuality is a sin that is a disgusting per per perversion of marriage and sex. Feminism is egalitarian since the deceptive concept denies the biblical roles of the church and the family. Obviously, the biblical roles of the church and the family are a salvation issue, which is the reason why egalitarianism is a damnable heresy that is going to split how wide open. 1 Timothy 2, 12-3, 7 says, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing, if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. This is a true saying. If a man desires the office of a bishop, he desires a good work. A bishop then must be blameless, the husband of one wife, vigilant, sober, of good behavior, given to hospitality, apt to teach, not given to wine, no striker, not greedy of filthy lucre, but patient, not a brother, not covetous, one that ruleth well his own house, having his children in subjection with all gravity. For if a man know not how to rule his own house, how shall he take care of the church of God? Not a novice, thus being lifted up with pride, he fall into the condemnation of the devil. Moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, thus he fall into reproach and the snare of the devil. 1 Timothy 2 and 3 makes it very clear that women cannot be pastors in the church, and they can't have spiritual authority over a man. Bear in mind that 1 Timothy 2.15 does not have a literal context, and and what that verse actually means is a whole other topic. In the biblical roles of marriage, the husband has the role of being the head of the house, providing for his family, and being faithful to his wife. On the other hand, the wife has the role of submitting to her husband, taking care of her children, bearing children, and being faithful to her husband. Ephesians 5, 22-33 says, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the saviour of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so that the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, 
not having spats or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it's uh, ever, even as the Lord the Church, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the Church. Nevertheless, that every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husbands. God set up the biblical roles of the church and the family for a reason. Women are just as valuable as men are, and the biblical roles in the church and the family are about order, not about value. Women have uh, just as many blessings as men do. The Barbie movie also mocks Eve <clears throat> oh, e eating the for forbidden fruits, which thereof, I mean, therefore, makes Barbie a blasphemous movie. As Christians, we definitely should not watch the Barbie movie, as that woke movie fails the Philippians for eight tests due to the movie being blasphemous and promoting feminism. Narcissism, humanism, wokeism, and vilifying men. The Barbie movie also vilifies, uh, vilifies men, as the woke movie has Ken being the villain all because he is a man. In reality, men should not be vilified for no reason, since we should not vilify people for no reason. The Barbie movie is a cultic garbage. That is the most overhyped and overrated movie of 2023. Philippians 4.8 says, Family brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. The Barbie movie is not pure at all as that movie is very woke and is aquatic. As Christians, we should stay away from mainstream, secular movies, shows, and music because they are satanic. Before we indulge in any kind of content, we should see if the video is compatible with Philippians 4.8. If content is not compatible with Philippians 4.8, then we should stay away from it. On the other hand, if content is compatible with Philippians 4.8, then we can indulge in it as long as we don't spend too much time on it. Some examples of contents that are compatible with Philippians 4.8 are sports games, with the exception of the Super Bowl halftime show, innocent video games, innocent movies, let alone biblical Christian movies, innocent shows, let alone biblical Christian shows, Instant music, let alone biblical Christian music, etc. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a nice day. Please subscribe to this channel and please share this video and goodbye.